Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Monteleone, and welcome to Delcy's virtual back to school night. Seems fitting for 2020. Uh, I will be teaching your student AP biology this year. So my goal for this video is to tell you a little bit about the course, uh, a little bit about myself, how you can get a hold of me if you ever need to, and maybe how you can support your student uh, during during this crazy school year that we are embarking on. So this is gonna be kind of like what we do with the kids. I'm gonna share my screen. I have a little slideshow that'll guide us through. All right, so hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. All right. So as far as the content, I mean, we are sort of governed by the College Board, AP, curriculum. Um, but just to give you some idea, we do cover some basic chemistry and biochemistry. Um, obviously, it's, it's biology. We talk a lot about cells, cellular anatomy, the parts of the cell and how they all work together. It's actually what we're starting uh, this week. Some cell physiology, we're going to spend a lot of time getting into cell respiration and photosynthesis, very complex biochemical pathways. Um, but we're going to diagram those and really break them down into their parts. Um, we do study cell division, uh, genetics, both Mendelian inheritance uh, and also molecular genetics, you know, the DNA level, gene expression. Uh, we get into all of those processes. And I like to emphasize biotechnology. Uh, this is sort of the, the, the what you do with all this genetics knowledge. And, and that's the fun part, right? Trying to develop new drugs, new therapies, uh, new treatments for things. Uh, so I know, I know already some of the kids mentioned that they uh, are interested in um, bioengineering, biomedical engineering. And so this is a nice sort of a crossover topic uh, between those, those fields. We also do cover evolution and ecology. Uh, those tend to be take-home chunks of information. We're already home at this point, so, so that'll be interesting. We're going to have to uh, play catch up a little bit. Uh, as we get ready for the AP test in May, but those are the main uh, topics that we cover throughout the course. Now, I do want to show you our Google Classroom for a moment. Everything we do goes through Google Classroom. I post daily announcements as far as what we're doing that day and what's coming up. Uh, our assignments are posted through here as well. Uh, your student can, can help you access this if you'd like under the Classwork tab. There are some class resources, and I label these classroom forms non-COVID just because, again, we're, we're doing things a little bit differently right now. But you can see there, once we get back to normal, what the grade breakdown will be. Um, as far as late work, again, that's slightly modified while we're doing remote learning. And ah, so this is... Yeah, it's, it scrunches that for some reason when we preview it. It's not like that for real. So a little bit about the AP test there, which we will talk about as we get closer, but it is here under the classwork tab. Uh, another thing I want to point out are notes, our slideshows for the whole year are here in part one and part two. I had to break them up into two chunks because there's so many. Uh, and then here's something new this year, this You Can Book Me link. So currently while we're remote teaching from 1045 to 1145 every day is an enrichment hour. And the, the students can sign up to meet during this time one-on-one -on -one, uh, with their teachers. It's sort of like Sign Up Genius if you've ever used that for a sports team or a club. Uh, for signups. And so that's every day. And then once we go hybrid schedule, the afternoons will be available. And these times will obviously be changed to reflect that window of opportunity. Um, but there is time throughout the day. And the students can always reach out to me, hear extra help, uh, always reach out if they need anything. They can email me. I check during the afternoon, the evening. Uh, so usually I'll get back to them pretty quick. Okay, so we'll go back to go back to here. As far as me, um, 
family guy, married my high school sweetheart. I have two boys, both in college as of this year, a senior and a freshman. Uh, fantastic guys. I love them to death. This is, this is Kendall. We rescued her nine years ago. Love of our lives. We're big into the Philly sports teams, even though they continue to break our hearts. This year is not starting out so well. And it's okay. There's always next year. Uh, when I first started teaching, actually, I had a little side business going with my college roommate, uh, who's an artist. I am not an artist, uh, but I do some woodworking. And if you've ever been in the Franklin Township Library, the children's room, we did all that work, created all that, installed it when they first opened, which I think was about 19 or so years ago. Uh, this coral reef bench is there. Uh, this wood had bark on one side when I started, and uh, my, my, my friend, the artist, uh, did, all, of course, all the painting. Uh, this is a shot from the Margaret Hagen Library in Sewell on Delcy Drive. We also did work in their children's room. Lots of animals. I think you see a pattern, biology teachers. So, yeah, so not, not just about science, this guy. Proud graduate of the University of Miami. Went there for my undergraduate work. Went to college uh, to become a marine biologist, specifically a shark biologist. I wanted to be one of the people on Shark Week sitting on the back of the boat with sharks swimming around their feet. Um, didn't happen, obviously, but fantastic place to study marine science, about an hour from the Upper Keys. Um, remain a huge fan of my university. Uh, so you might see behind me, I always have some of my, my alma mater swag around me. Um, during my undergrad years, I worked in a shark immunology lab. And it was a fantastic experience. My mentor, Dr. Churchill McKinney, fantastic person. She was patient and such, such, such a great teacher, um, but got me interested in medicine as well as research science. So about my junior year, beginning of my junior year, I decided to pursue an MD PhD program. And I got into a few, uh, but I wound up staying at the University of Miami. And basically, this is a seven to eight year program where you do the first two years of medical school, hop into the lab for about four years to get your PhD, and then come back and do years three and four of med school. Well, I did the two years of med school, uh, did about two years of graduate work, and then made what I like to call a lifestyle change. Uh, so I don't, I'm not an MD or a PhD. Uh, I left the program. I loved what I was studying, uh, but it was really intense, and I was a little scared, honestly, that I wouldn't have time to be the type of dad that I wanted to be. You know, I knew I wanted kids and I knew I wanted to have a family. I wanted to coach the baseball teams and all that sort of thing. This was all encompassing. I mean, I, I, did, I wouldn't see my, my wife for days on end. And when I was home, I was a zombie. I'm sure some of you uh, work jobs like that where you're just, you're home, but you're not really home because you're so exhausted. So I wound up leaving the program, um, worked for my dad for three years as a project manager in the business world, that didn't work. Uh, I needed to be in science, dealing with science. And so I've been teaching here at Delcy for 21 years. This is my 20, 21st year, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I, get, I get to deal with science at a, at a high level with, with the students I teach. I love the kids here. I love the school, the community. Uh, I really couldn't be happier uh, with my decision. I do miss it. There are times, believe me, when I do think what if, but um, I did wind up coaching all those baseball teams and soccer teams. So I'd say it worked out pretty good. Now about ooh, six years ago, I did go back to graduate school and I got my master's degree in uh, biology, specifically marine ecology. Again, that, that love of the ocean and, and marine life is, is still there. Um, great experience, um, became friendly with a professor and actually helped develop a course in the lower Florida Keys, a, a field ecology course, marine field ecology course. I used some of my connections. I was very familiar with the, the Florida Keys, being down there for college and grad school and med school. Uh, so yeah, I helped design this course. They still offer it each summer. This is me diving at Lou Key Reef, uh, one of the days of the course. Um, I guess I'm my, happy, I'm, I'm my happiest when I'm out on the water. Uh, and especially when I'm in the water with sharks. So I, I organized a shark tagging trip with Dr. Neil, Neil Hammerschlag. This is his boat. Uh, you might have seen Dr. Neil on Shark Week. Uh, this right here in the background is Austin Gallagher, who was a grad student at the time, now a big shot PhD shark scientist. Uh, he was on the trip and we worked up about 
13 sharks, five different species that day, including a tiger, hammerhead, and a bunch of others. So again, it's, it's still a love of mine. And, um, you know, in, in graduate school, when I was in the immunology lab, uh, that was my PhD specialization, microbiology and immunology. Uh, I worked a lot with cancer treatments, cellular cancer treatments, some transplantation protocols. Um, reason I bring all this up, um, I love this stuff and I try to infuse all of my experiences into the classroom. I think it makes the science a little more real for the kids. I think they learn it better. They enjoy it more. Plus it gives them a glimpse of where it can take you. You know, it's, it's one thing to, to learn information out of a textbook all year, but, but to know, hey, this really does lead to exciting careers uh, and, and in some cases, lucrative careers. So I really do love science. I love biology. And, and I hope to, to inspire the kids to, to feel the same. If you need me for any reason, uh, this is my email address. That'll be the best way to get a hold of me. I do check afternoons, evenings. Like I said, um, this is my phone number here at school, an extension. If you ever do want to call, uh, that's fine too. But, but email is probably your best bet. Um, I'm excited. I mean, I know this year is crazy, but, but, it, but I, lo I love a challenge. And, you know, I, I think I've developed a, a plan. And as any good scientist, the plan can change based on the data. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But, but I feel confident that I can get these kids ready for their AP test. Uh, and, and regardless, just give them a solid foundation in biology. I, I know a lot of them are going to be life science majors uh, in college. And so, you know, I want to give them the best biology background possible. On your end, uh, as far as supporting them, try to keep them motivated. I, you know, my son, my younger son was a senior last year. And in the spring, when, when we went to remote learning, man, it was hard. And especially later in the year, being a senior, you know, senioritis kicks in as it is. Um, we're still in the honeymoon phase of senior year here starting up, but just try to keep them motivated. Try to, uh, you know, let them know that it's important, that it matters, that they need to be more uh, responsible for their learning than ever, more aggressive about their learning. Reach out, ask questions, stay focused. Um, I'll certainly try and be a cheerleader on my end. Anything you can do to help on your end would be most appreciated. All right, so that is my spiel. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I thank you for listening. Have a great night.